You have been well trained. No, you don't have to Final. carry a sword to be powerful. No. I won't fail you. Oh, do not. I'm not afraid. There is no threat. stream as we expected uh, with his uh, elite seventh sister night sister uh, Sienna deck and on the left we have Paul who is playing uh, elite Rose elite Aya Ezra so this is definitely that uh, hero vehicle deck that uh, we've heard a lot about recently Sorry, I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit so you guys can hear me. There we go. This is a hero uh, vehicle deck. Hero 5 die vehicle deck we've heard a lot about recently. Um, uh, with Rose's ability to... Rose's ability to... Uh, Work with our vehicles. Uh, of course, we've got uh, Eye's ability to help control our own dice, and it appears that the round timer has begun. Ah! Round four. Sorry about that. There we go. All right, Joe Mulliganing uh, to uh, put that price of failure back in there, which was certainly a little too early, I guess, to get a card like that in your hand. Paul making sure we get a solid cut on that uh, deck there. I think Joe's got some good options in his hand. I haven't seen uh, Paul's hand quite yet. Uh, it looks like... Joe is going to uh, win the decision here uh, with Paul rolling in four and Joe has rolled in five. All right, Joe's going to go with his battlefield yet again. Uh, Thought we were starting. My bad. We were not. Going to be an interesting matchup here between these two decks. Uh, Ezra's goal to get some resources, Alia to help control. Mm. Joe biding his time to get those uh, those powerful punches out there, and he's got plenty of staying power in this deck. So it'll be interesting to see how the two of them pair off together. Bless you.
We were waiting patiently for this round to start. Be a repair, right? Oh, it seems like there may be. The rumors are abound as to what's happening. And we are secluded in a room uh, kind of away from the gameplay. So all I see is what's on my screen. really chatty up there, so I'm going to turn their mic down a little bit. We'll be, uh, I'll be right back as soon as we find out what's uh, going on here. Start then? Yeah. And we're back. It seems like there was a little bit of a repairing here uh, on uh, a couple of tables, but has not impacted our top table here. Again, we have uh, Paul on the left playing the Hero Vehicle deck that uh, we've come to know and love recently. It's taken a couple of regional championships, or at least a variation of it. Uh, and then Joe on the right, um, I guess to some extent, premiering this version of Seventh Sister uh, One Turn Kill. His current variation of this deck. So we've uh, played Ancient Lightsaber, rolled in Sienna for a range. Uh, Paul has uh, rolled in both Rose and Alia, uh, done some indirect damage, which Sienna has taken. Um, both players moving quite quickly. As if they know exactly the moves that they're going to make. Rolling in another ID9 die with Seven Sisters ability. Uh, so we have uh, Shield. No, that's just one ID9 because we have. Do we not have an ID9 on the table yet? My my mistake. I was thinking about his next play. He's already going to go ahead and put uh, 
Uh, he's going to discard an Aftermath uh, to reroll his die. Uh, one range on Sienna, two melee on the seventh, and then uh, I9 showing a disrupt, which would be uh, one at this point in time. Now we're going to pay one to play a card that was... Uh, five damage to Rose, so we got tech team, we got C three PO down on the table. Use tech team to get C three PO down for free, which is nice. Uh C three PO always a good um the card we've seen staple in a lot of decks that have the red character. Uh, for his flexibility and uh, ways to uh, kind of mess the opponent, both on, from the mill standpoint uh, and just getting some damage out there on some die that maybe not have damage otherwise. So I doubt the resource on Ezra, which is an interesting uh, choice, but I guess it makes sense. Uh, not Money is what makes a vehicle deck work. Uh, and being able to doubt it and get it removed so the money is not generated uh, does help for future longevity uh, and getting those vehicles to not hit the table as quickly. If anybody cares, we ordered quesadillas. I think the card was Rally Aid that was played. I'm looking at Paul's deck list and seeing if that's uh, that was the red card that was played there. Uh, that was hard to see. Uh, we have a we have a uh, post going out on Facebook with a list of decks, but um, while we're ha having a moment here, I can tell you that there is uh, there are eight hero vehicle decks here at the at the event. Um, seven Hondo Poes, uh, eight Phasma Boba Fett, which is interesting. Um, four Sabine Yoda. So congrats, Matt, for making a splash there with that one. Um, four Seven Sister Tarkins and four Obi Maz. Um, everything else is uh, either a one or a two of. As they're rolling in a disrupt, um, we've got a special and uh, two indirect showing on Alia. Uh, Rose has not yet rolled in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and Joe's going to roll in the Night Sister um, for the disrupt as well. And her food's here, if anybody cares. Nobody cares. My wife has informed me that no one cares. <laughs> Which is fine. All y'all care about is destiny. Destiny and, and tacos. Oh, wait. I care about the tacos. That is a very unstable table up there, and I apologize that the table keeps wiggling on you guys. I would looked at it. There's nothing I can do. I might maybe stick some napkins on her. Maybe that'll help. I need a carpenter. I'm sure someone here is a carpenter. 
All right, Joe is going to uh, overwrite the uh, Ancient Lightsaber with um, Maul Saber. Get Maul Saber in there. I'm going to go ahead and roll on the Y-Wing. So the tech team was used to get a Y-Wing for a little cheaper, which is great. Um, the vehicles have, have started to come, but Rose is already showing a bunch of damage. A little reroll action here. Um, oh, gonna discard a card, and we got to get rid of the doubt, which is probably a, a helpful move here. Um, and rolled in Maul Saber uh, with his power action. And we've already uh, leadershiped Seven Sister once. I would assume it was leadership. That happened here. Well, Joe trying to get himself into a position where he can uh, have a, a pretty good damage swing. Um, Trying to use Knight Sister's ability to get that Darth Maul Saber back into something of, uh, of, of use. But C3P are rolling in a focus, which will uh, maybe too late for that to be any, any real value here in this turn. Um, but it could be used to turn Alia's die into a more uh, direct dealing damage. As you're hearing, Artigo's burritos have arrived. So. All right, a nice five damage swing over there onto uh, Alia. Sorry, guys, the food can. I'm more hungry. Yeah, I don't think you're yelling. It's the green one with the little thing. Oh. That one is actually kind of good. What is it? Mmm. I think. Unfortunately, that uh, oh, Night Sister ability is not panning out the way he wants it to, but. Yeah. You know, he can use it as many times as he wants in his turn, but Night Sister doesn't have much health left. 
Only two more. Has, will he will he do one more damage on the Night Sister and try and get some some better damage? We got a resource on Maul's Saber, so that's, that's something. So we've got, uh, it looks like we'll focus two die. I'm not showing a total of four damage. That is enough to get rid of Rose. And Paul's going to claim the battlefield, so Joe has full reign to do whatever he so chooses. Uh, he's going to get uh, one shield, which he'll probably place on Night Sister. Yep. Give him some more control options. And then uh, do four damage over to. Oh, yeah. Or two and two, yep. So two to Alia and two to uh, Rose, which, which killed her. A good showing here. We've got three damage left uh, before Alia's defeated, and Ezra's got six damage left. And Ezra hit by himself is not much of a threat. Although there are all these vehicles out here, they'll ultimately pan out to something. But two specials on Alia. And Joe's going to throw down lightsaber pull. So I'm going to try and get, I would assume, an ancient. Uh, yep. There is the ancient lightsaber. Rolling the light wing, got a blank. Gonna play the ancient. It's a good move for some additional melee damage there uh, and the potential to heal uh, or overwrite. Joe's sitting on a couple enrages. Um, enrage into uh, Enrage into Rise Again. It's a, it's a nice little play. We've seen him do uh, once already today. I wouldn't be surprised if we see him do it again. And Joe's sitting on three resources right now, and with two Enrages, he could potentially go that route, but I don't know. It seems doing two in a row seems a little bit excessive at this point. I have flipping the uh, ancient saber over to a blank. Uh, I'm using the other one to flip the Y wing over to uh, the special. Using the Y wing special, I'm gonna trust your instincts, uh, which allow uh, him, uh, Joe, to reroll some dice and draw a card. Card and draw. <laughs> Looks like he drew into another Truster Instinct. Uh, he flips his cards, but doesn't show us the last one, so it's hard to tell. So uh, go ahead and hmm. Use tech team to play the interceptor. So we got three vehicles on the table. Maybe a fourth one down at the bottom. It's hard to tell.
and Joe handily gets rid of uh, Aya. So now we're left with Ezra and a bunch of vehicles and uh, six damage left until the end of this game. And players have been playing for under 20 minutes at this point in time, so it's going pretty quickly by uh, today's standards of how long these games last. And oh, we're rolling a three melee. So there's that. So we're looking at uh, five melee damage here uh, coming the way of Ezra, and all Joe needs is one more damage uh, after that, if, if that's where he ends up going with them. I'm going to put the Republic Cruiser in there with the special, with uh, whose special uh, gets those shields, which is not too shabby. Joe's sitting on the best defense and a probe and enrage and uh, one other card I missed. Uh, so I'm going to do it. go ahead and do the five to Ezra. So it brings Ezra up to six uh, with one more left until he is defeated. Uh, all vehicles have been rolled in, it looks like at this point. C3 has not yet rolled in, but I'm not sure what there's much C3 about himself can do. Um, nice, that's just going to bite the dust. Uh, Sienna also only has uh, one left, but uh, Seven Sisters got four damage left, which uh, could be close if Paul rolls well. Um, but Joe was looking, I believe Joe's got Price of Failure in his hand, which uh, this would be a good time to pull that one off. Because he's got to chew through uh, two shields and one damage. I think, uh, I think Joe is was probably waiting for a claim to happen, just in case there's some extra control. But he's going to go ahead and do it. Price of failure, getting rid of Sienna. Uh, readying uh, seventh sister for an additional activation, which will bring out an additional probe droid as well. Uh, C three PO rolling in for a blank, uh, does him no good. Going to roll in. Um, the rest of Seven Sisters die, and we've got uh, three melee showing uh, right now. Joe's got three more cards in hand, which he could use to uh, discard to re-roll into something better, but that is enough. That is lethal, and uh, Paul has nothing to get out of it, so that is the game for Joe. Joe takes another victory here with a, a, a new variation on the Seventh Sister OTK. One-turn kill. Uh... Less of a one-turn kill and, and more of a uh, lots of turns kill. I, I was trying to think of something clever. My wife is giving me a very funny look for that one. Anyway. So she is here to, to look at me the way that every one of you out there is looking at me. Uh, again, thanks for hanging out with us here at Highlander Games, Star Wars Destiny Regional Championship. Uh, if you enjoy the content, uh, hit the follow button. Thanks for everyone who has followed thus far. Um, if you are, are so inclined, hit the subscribe button. Uh, Twitch Prime users, you get to subscribe to one channel for free every month, and it still helps support that channel. And uh, last but not least, you can join our Patreon, where you can hang out with the rest of the Chansky family um, and see all the stuff coming up. Uh, be part of our little uh, corner of the galaxy, I guess you'd say. Uh, for anybody out there who enjoys uh, custom playmats, ink gaming, all that fun stuff, um, we have a deal with Ink Gaming right now. You can use the promo code ChanceCube12 for 12% off your entire order uh, from Ink Gaming. Uh, they have this cool Blueprint Destiny playmat. Um, you can also get the playmat that you see uh, on the stream before the other players cover it up with their mats. Um, that one is also available. There's so InkGaming.com. Definitely check them out, and we thank them for uh, their support of uh, the Chance Cube and Star Wars Destiny as a whole. So we will be back the... There's about 13 and a half minutes left in the round. There are a lot of games that are going to time here. I imagine, um, I'm shocked we do not have a huge uh, mill variety, considering that mill took a uh, regional championship recently. But um, there's a couple. I'm looking at the entire list right now. Uh, let's get back here. What is going on with this list? And we have... Uh, there's one uh, partisan Reich and Yoda deck here today. I'm not really sure where they're standing. Uh, we can find out. Ali Yoda, Jedi Temple Guard. 
Hmm. Wedge rookie pilot Jenna Partisan. There's an elite Palpatine. Yay, yay, Palpatine. There's one. <laughs> one elite Palpatine. Yeah, well. Padawan Alia Yoda. That's interesting. Um, so nice one, a bunch of one ofs around here of some interesting uh, Yoda, Riken, Partisan. Uh, so there's a couple of those decks. There's a couple mill decks uh, here, uh, but not as many as I would have expected considering the recent success it has had uh, here at these regional championships. So uh, we'll be back with round five. Uh, round four, again, has about 12 and a half minutes left. We'll be back with round five here. Um, I would say in about 15 minutes, as long as the pairings uh, don't take too long. And uh, thanks for uh, following and hanging out with us.